Hi everyone. Today I am going to show you the very nice feature in 3ds Max. In 3ds Max 2022, a new technique Smart Extrude has been introduced. Using this technique, you can extrude the polygon of an object smartly and interactively when the object is converted to an editable poly or an editable modifier is applied to it. You can also create hole easily. Moreover, in this technique, polygons which are adjacent to the selected polygon will be stitched and rebuilt together. So, let us start with a new technique. First, you create a box. So, choose create and then box from the command panel. Now click and drag in the viewport, uh, the box is created here. Also set the segments to 6. If segments are not viewing in a perspective viewport, you can choose default shading from the viewport. A flyout is displayed and then choose the display select option. Uh, the cascading menu is displayed, choose display selected with edge face option. You can notice that the segments are displayed on the box. Uh, this new smart extrude uh, works on editable poly. So, convert box to the editable poly. So, right click, right click on box in the modifier stack and choose editable poly. Now, uh, this box is converted to the editable poly. Now, expand the editable poly in the modifier stack and uh, choose polygon now hold the control key and select the polygons and then hold the shift and move polygon you can see the smart extrude feature here so here you see very nice push and pull and you hold down the shift all the way you can see the boolean right there now hold the shift key and move polygon like this you can see the smart extrude feature uh, very nicely you can uh, you know push and pull the polygons now you can hold the shift all the way uh, you can see the boolean right here like this Now, in second example, I will show you how to bridge from this technique. First, I am creating the cylinder here. So, choose create and then cylinder. Now, click and drag to create the cylinder in viewport. Now, I am converting the cylinder to the editable poly. So, right click uh, and choose the edit editable poly here. now it is converted to the editable poly earlier i told you uh, like this technique work only in the editable poly object now expand the editable poly and choose the polygon so uh, let us select all these polygons of the cylinder uh, now hold the control and shift key and move up here you can see creating copy of the cylinder. So, uh, if you have the same topology, you can easily bridge. So, uh, select the polygon of both object using control key like this and then press R for scaling. Now, I am going to show you the inset how to do the inset using this technique so make sure the scale tool is activated now hold on the shift key and scale it now this is the inset technique using to the smart extrude so hold on the shift key and insert it uh, i'm doing two times here again select the polygon of one object and hold down the shift key and move it move it to up 
now you can see it going to connect with another object just fine you can also use the cut tool so i am creating another box here like this and uh, again i am going to convert this to editable poly right click on the box and choose editable poly and uh, now i am choosing the cut tool and then cut the area of this box like this now expand the editable poly and choose polygon now select the polygon here and hold down the shift key and move it to down it works in different topology from this technique you can do a multiple task so a smart ox extrude uh, which works properly so guys i hope you can understand the technique of smart extrude uh, in next video i'll show you how to create the table using this smart extrude thanks for watching be safe